Look at them crabs. They are done. <laughs> and welcome to another adventure. So today, I'm up here in my secret spot. I always have all these different secret spots. You'll never guess where it is. I drove here in the car, and I'm here today fishing for Carolina crabs. Carolina crabs migrate from the north to the south. So let's see if I have one on right now. I'm gonna try to get it on there. There we go. Come on, crab. Oh, yeah. Well, boys, we hit the jackpot this time. That's the way, that's the way you go crab catching. Carolina crab catching in Florida. Wow, I can't believe I did that one-handed. One pull in one hand, crab on the mullet. See how he gets caught up in the string there? Isn't that kind of cool? That's the way you catch them. These are good eating too. I'm going to cook them up later. So when the crab goes for the bait in the water, crabs like this, you can see the crab gets caught in the line that I tied to there. That's how you do it. This one's got eggs. I'm going to let it go, but that's the trick. Put the bait down there. Up there is the line. And look at this. My Robinson Crusoe net. This was the thing to scoop it up when you catch him on the pole. Uh oh, uh oh. Fish on, fish on. All right, I'm gonna reel him in. Let's see what it is. Look at this bugger. Nice. Wow, that was an adventure. I went out today, I caught crabs, calico crabs or Carolina crabs, whatever you want to call them. But um, I caught a lot, check it out. Look at all those crabs. Look at them all, they're good size too. I want to get bit there, but look at that one. And right in the mix of them, look at that, blue crab. I want to know what a blue crab was doing out in the ocean. That's usually not, you see these calico crabs a lot, these Carolina crabs, but you don't see these guys right here. So now I'm gonna go cook them up. Follow me along. So first up, gotta get a pot. There it is. And you have to have a stove. Adding the water. This is it. That's all I need. Old Bay. Put it right in the pot. I usually put about a quarter of a cup in. About that much water. About 25% full. And then you're going to turn on the stove. As soon as the crabs are iced down enough, I'm going to take them and put them right in this pot. Soon as the water starts boiling. Here's the crabbies. Look at those little buggers. And don't worry, they're iced down. They don't feel a thing, they're sleeping. Look at those crabbies cook. Nice and red, that's how you want them. Put some old day, a little bit of celery, a little beer in there. People that don't drink, don't put beer. Old Bay is good enough. Hey, so now the finished product. Here they are, cooked crabs. And let me tell you something. Today was very interesting. I caught all Carolina. I call them calico crabs. I guess they come down from the Carolinas. They mix in here a little bit. And then the strangest thing, one blue crab. So this is going to be fun. I want to compare and see which one tastes better. So right now, I want to point out, see the spots on this one? That is the calico. See how smooth this is right here? This is the actual blue crab. It actually was really blue in color when I caught it. So now, taste testing time. I'm gonna do it real simple. I'm gonna take this little guy, crack its claw, just like that. Take this little bugger right here, do a little 
snappy doodle just like that peel back there it's pretty tricky just want to kind of push the meat out just like that so it kind of slides out and then you pull the piece out look at that nice okay mmm tastes just like blue crab I like it that's good but now the big taste test which one tastes better but I'm gonna be honest on this if it's the calico Carolina crab I'll never buy a blue crab again just go right off the beach and catch them all right pop that part there we go take one more little crack right there perfect I'm just kind of just peel it back like that gotta kind of wiggle it a little bit keep your finger on the meat oh there we go there we go look at all that meat in there take just a piece out nice and white this is the calico Nope. This one's way better. All right. The blue crab almost has more of a, I'd say a little fishy kind of a borderline muddy grassy taste. This guy tastes like snow crab or king crab. So I'll tell you what, kids, parents, get out there, get some crab traps. You saw how I did it. Also, if you don't want to do the crab traps, do the string. Get a bunch of old line, get a hook, Put a mold on it and just cast it out and they'll get trapped in there and have a net to scoop them right up. And there you go. Dinner on the grill, dinner in the pot. See y'all in the next adventure. <laughs>